have been on a hunt. This is Kitsune Hiruri. Welcome to my channel. And what have I been hunting for? I've been hunting for some certain dolls. Uh, there's a few on my list I've been looking for. That's just a given for any doll or toy collector. you got a list. You go hunting. But these in particular, I keep seeing everybody having videos about them. They were supposed to have had, I believe, a May release date. But people were finding them way earlier. May or June. I'm not sure. But people had already been finding them. There have been a few YouTubers that had them sent to them from the company to do reviews on. And the cartoon is already out on YouTube. And I have looked. And our store showed none. And I've been in everywhere. Walmart, Target, Meyer, whatever. And on a whim, the other day, I went ahead and when I got off work, I just walked into Target. And there on the aisle, by herself, I found one of these dolls. And I'm not saying I found one style of the doll. I found one single solitary doll. And yeah, I grabbed it. I wasn't going to leave that lay there. I mean, I've been hunting for them. Now, I had in my mind a specific doll I wanted to get first, second, so on and so forth. But you know what? When they're this hard to grab a hold of, I'm just going to get what I can when I can. What doll are you asking? Okay. If you've been watching YouTube and the other doll collectors, then I'm sure you, of course, know about Rainbow High. I even have some of those myself, but not in this room. Well, now they've got Shadow High. And if you haven't heard about these, Shadow High is the rival school. And all of the dolls are in gray scale. From black through all the grays to white. And I, I mean, jet to snow. You know what I mean? Yeah, the characters are mean little snots. I mean... There's some delusion there thinking that they're nice people. But no, <laughs> these are really nice looking dolls. Even the skin tones are in grayscale, which is visually exciting. It's something you don't see, and it's really going to stand out in your doll collection, especially if you get the whole set and have them all lined up in order. It's going to be fabulous. So, what one did I find? Interestingly enough, the one who has the same, has my mother's maiden name. <laughs> That's the one. Um, I found Nicole Steele. And here she is. She's right in the middle of the scale. I had actually intended to pick her up somewhere around the line of last. And if my color view is showing properly, she probably looks a little green right now. But then everything looks a little green. It's just my lighting. She is actually a perfect medium gray um, with lo you know, lovely black, white, and silver accents. She's kind of the sporty one. Um, her eyes themselves are actually gray. Some of the dolls will have colored eyes. But let's have a look at this package. You can see all of the characters here. She's supposed to be the curly haired one down here. Um, there is a boy. The two I had wanted to get first were, of course, the black and the white. And then I wanted to get the one that was half and half. I didn't find them yet. <laughs> so, but here's the back art. And per usual, the Rainbow High packaging has this iridescent color shifting thing going on, which makes it impossible to show on camera and make it very clearly visible. But we'll try. But you can see there are six dolls in the collection. I would like to have this entire set. Rainbow High, there are certain specific ones I really like. But these, I want every single one of them. And I'm going to be the terrible person. And yes, I am going to open this doll up right now. So here we are. <laughs> Let's get her open. There is some tape down the sides. Let me move my stuff from the previous video out here. I made myself wait, by the way, through all the recording of the other videos to get to this one. 
I suffer for you, my friends. I suffer for you. <laughs> so here we go. This tape. It should open up easily here. Oh, that's a tear away. Okay. You're kidding, right? You're going to make me fight for this one. I see. Okay, got some more tape here then, I guess. Freeze her accessories. And the back here is her doll stand. It does please me very much that they include doll stands for these. Because some dolls just don't fit a classic stand. You know those little white metal ones they make? Some dolls don't fit them. They just won't go. And these are one of them. So here's the base. And you can see it is gray and glittery. has little studs around the edges. It does not have the Shadow High logo anywhere that I see. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. There it is. SH right here on the front. It's kind of hard to see. Here is the back of the stand. And, of course, the grippy thing. It's right up here. There we go. That's where you're supposed to go. All right. All right. Doll stand come to life. There we go. All right. So there's the doll stand. Here are her extra fashions. Oh, huh, that came off easy. Well, this one. Yay. All right. At least one little concession to our weak little hands. Okay. <laughs> Get this one open. In this one, we have some fabulous, fabulous boots or shoes and some thigh high stockings. those loose. So glad they did not pierce the fashions to put them in the packaging. That is frustrating when they do that. What's holding you on? Now it looks like, oh, these are all one piece. Okay, so let's get this leg form out of here. So this shoe and stocking is just one piece. So the whole top of the shoe is actual fabric to get this look. Alright, just had a momentary pause there as my camera decided that it was done recording for the day and I had to go and empty it. So, where I was at, I had just pulled out these... Well, footwear with the socks attached. And it is a full fabric covered toe. And hard bottom, hard on the back. It says shadow on the back of it. Has the SH logo on the side. And goes up to the thigh in a fabric stocking. That's her alternative footwear. There are those. They certainly stand up on their own. Here's her other fashion box with her extra outfit. Unfortunately, they went through the fashion on this one. I really don't like it when they do that. Take 
take these little plastic nubbins out. Fake zipper, Velcro in the back, some nice shadow high written all over the interior here in iridescent ink on the inside of her jacket, shadow high up the side. Also on the pocket, a nice little piece, and of course across the back, and it unfortunately it wasn't cut properly, but right here it says shadow on the front, you got unfortunately caught in the zipper. A nice little jacket. And there is a t-shirt dress underneath. I like that little dress. It's Velcro down the back. Any surprises inside there? Nope, just basic. I do like that they fully finish their hems and seams. Nothing is left ragged. It's actually stitched down properly. Printed with the Shadow High logo here. Now let's see if we can freeze it all. There's my chances here. I'm just going to have to come out this way, I believe, or maybe through the back. out of the way, which actually she is attached to the plastic on there. So let's go ahead and get her freed from the back here. I will say that Rainbow High and Shadow High have been producing some pretty nice dolls. Matter of fact, there have been a lot of nice dolls being produced lately all the way around from a lot of the companies good quality. They're really thinking about the fact that people don't just buy these toys for a child to play with one day and throw away. And often, even if it is being bought for a child, they want them to last until they grow up. We want to keep our toys. With our, oops, I forgot about the comb. Here's her comb. It's made of the same plastic as the stand. The Shadow High logo. Studs on it. Glitter all throughout. It's a little fuzzy there. And it's a little flexy, but um, if the product ever wears out of the doll's hair because they put a lot of product in there, it should be able to work with them. It's got enough teeth to it to actually use. I'm still working on freeing her. And here's something I do not like. is when they put these plastic things straight into the head of the doll. That's there forever. It sticks out. I hate that. There's no reason you can't use a flexi band. There's that one. Let's get this one down here. That one is a flexi band. <laughs> we very very nearly got her loose here. Let's slide her hair out of those. All right. Here she is.
get her into a less weird position. She's a little bit stiff, but she is straight out of the box, so that's expected. She has a very sporty fashion, kind of a denim shirt with cold shoulder sleeves. She's got earrings that say shadow and high on them. Or is it shadow on both? It says shadow on both. She has some lovely little hair wispies here at the top, painted on. Her hair is done up in some wonderful curls, and it's not just a solid one color gray. There's streaks of lighter and darker grays in there to give it a little bit of depth. Um, of course, the makeup, her eyes are very gray on this one, as is her lipstick. Uh, let's see. Here's that denim dress shirt kind of deal going on. It looks like their school mascot. Not sure if it's a cat. What is that little creature on there on her shoulder? It says sparkle on her dress. Some little studs, buttons. She even has little pocket flaps on her shirt there. Just here. She's wearing basketball shorts that say shadow up the side. Knee high sports socks with iridescent band. And high heeled tennis shoes, which I don't know how practical that is, but it actually does have shoelaces on there, but they don't really tie anything. And they usually have an extra piece of outfit under their outers, so let's have a look. Because they're never basic. Slide this off. And that, yes, there's a little tank top cropped underneath with SH on the front of it. It has strapping that has some writing on it as well that says shadow. Great little outfit there. So she's ready for basketball with just taking off a jacket. Her nails are painted dark gray. Not sure how well you can see them there. She's got dark gray nails, cat's eye eyeshadow, and looks like she has some painted on teeth showing just slightly, a little, a little bit of a smirk. Very nice doll. Let's see how she looks in her other fashion. I don't even really need to take her shorts off for that. It should mix in very well. Like it's supposed to go on hold up. This will be difficult because she's very narrow at the top compared to her bottom. Probably be easier if I had taken her shoes off, but I didn't. Slide this up on her. Hey, give it over that booty, honey. I know you thick. There we go. Of course, authenticity and date marks are here along the back of the head, like most dolls are. Yeah, and the little dress is meant to be worn with the shorts as well. So, let's get her in a better position here. Weird angles, my dear. So she is with the little basketball dress. Really cute. forward here for her little jacket. I 
it is somewhat difficult to get her into this jacket, at least her hands. Alright, not even worth the trouble. So <laughs> not the one I want to keep her in anyway. But yeah, should you go to put these in, her hands are slightly open, as you can see. And by the way, these little darlings have claws. Those are very sharp, pointy nails. Anyway, hands are slightly open and a little hard to slide through there, so you may have to stretch that out and guide it through a little bit. But I'm going to be leaving her in this fashion anyway. But overall, per usual with Rainbow High and Now Shadow High dolls, you get a very good quality doll. Beautifully designed, well thought out, and definitely collectible. I am going to be looking for the rest of this collection, um, however I may find them. So you may be seeing me opening up the rest of them as well. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you like what you see, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I've also got a Patreon under Steam Fox Latte and Kitsune Haruri. And I'm also on Etsy as Steamed Fox Latte. Please have a look if you'd like to see what I sell. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.